Hello everyone and welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today is Sunday, May 2nd. We're going to be going over some NBA DFS picks today on both DraftKings and FanDuel. But before we get started, I just want to say I didn't make a video yesterday. I was doing the Day 3 stream for the NFL Draft. So I do apologize for you that do follow the NBA DFS ones. But I'll be having it pretty much every day going forward. If there's a day that I'm not going to have it, I'm going to try to let you guys know ahead of time. Uh, but we'll get into the injuries right away for today since it has been a day since we uh, made some picks. So there's kind of that island game, the 330 game uh, between the Brooklyn Nets and the Milwaukee Bucks. So for the Nets, Chewuza, Claxton, and Harden are out. Uh, so pretty much what we've been seeing out of them, honestly. Then for the Bucks, Giannis, a game time decision, but likely to play. Two pain is out. Shouldn't really affect the rotation there. Portland Trailblazers, exactly the same as last time out. Just Zach Collins out. Boston Celtics, exactly the same as last time out. Kemba Walker, unlikely to play. Sacramento Kings, Woodard, Fox are both out. Medu and Barnes are both game time decisions, unlikely to play. So, should be a pretty similar lineup to the last time out. Then for Dallas Mavericks, Porzingis is out once again. Terry and Reddick are both game time decisions, but likely to play. For the Knicks, it's just Mitchell Robinson out in this one. Houston Rockets got Nawaba, Gordon, and DJ Augustine all out. Daniel House. Sterling Brown and Avery Bradley are all game time decisions. We'll just have to keep an eye out on them and see if they play or not. 76ers are all the way healthy for now. We'll see if they end up resting any guys or not. Trey Lyle's out once again. And then DeJounte Murray is a game time decision. We'll see if he ends up playing. For the Suns, Nader and Crowder out once again. Cam Johnson and Cameron Payne are both game time decisions. Looks like Johnson has a chance to play and Payne is more of a you know, game time, questionable decision. Oklahoma City Thunder, you see uh, four game time decisions here. Dort, Shea Gilgis Alexander, Mike Muscal, and Poveshevsky. I didn't think uh, Shea Gilgis Alexander was going to play again this year, so we'll see if he actually does come back or not. For the Miami Heat, Oladipo and Hero are out both out once again. Bielitsa is a game time decision, and apparently Udonis Haslam is a game time decision. Uh, he hasn't played all year, so not too worried about him. Then for the Hornets... Gordon Hayward's out. Uh, Devontae Graham and Nate Darling both game down decisions. We'll see if they end up playing. But LaMelo Ball is actually going to be back today. So for the people that said he was going to be out for the whole year, I guess you guys are wrong. Move down to the last game. That's Toronto Raptors. Paul Watson, Chris Boucher both out. Gary Trent game time decision. We'll see if he ends up playing or not. And then for the Lakers, a bunch of game time decisions. And Jared Dudley out. Most notably, LeBron James is a game time decision. So he could be back today. Him and Alex Gruser are kind of the two that are up in the air. Everybody else should be out there once again. But that's a quick little rundown on the injuries for today's slate. We'll get moved over to DraftKings and talk about my picks over there. So we're going to start off point guard Marcus Smart. Kemba Walker out once again, $6,400. Looking for 32 points out of him. Averaging 30.5 on the season. Goes against the Portland Trailblazers. Should be a pretty good matchup for him overall. Portland's defense isn't the greatest in the world. But, you know, just definitely that higher usage role. Ball handling role definitely has helped Marcus Smart out in recent days. And then at shooting guard, we got Lonnie Walker, $3,500. Since Derek White's not been playing, he's been getting bigger minutes and playing very well. $3,500 is just too cheap for him. Then we got Mikel Bridges at small forward, $5,300. Looking for 26, 27 points out of him. Just about in line with what he's averaging on the season. Goes against Oklahoma City Thunder. Should be a pretty good matchup for him as well. Then... A power forward, Maxi Kleber, priced all the way down to 3500 Looking for 17, 18 points out of him, averaging about 19 on the season. Goes against the Kings, should be a good matchup for him as well. And definitely, you know, no Kristaps Porzingis should get a couple more minutes there as well. Then last but not least, we got Ken Birch, $5,100. Looking for 25, 26 points out of him, averaging only 18 on the season. But man, he's been on a tear lately. Been playing big minutes and been playing very well. So definitely another matchup where you could could see him uh, do pretty well once again today. But if you go to these five players on DraftKings for today, you have $26,200 left over. Just over $8,700 per player. So definitely some room to pay up for a couple guys. Find a value pick to go with them. Spread the wealth. Just a lot of different options out there today. But with that being said, we'll move over to Fandle and talk about my picks over there as well. So point guard position, I'm going with Goran Dragic, $4,800. Looking for about 24 points out of him. That's what he's averaging on the season. Been playing pretty good minutes, you know, lately with Tyler Hero not in the lineup at all. So I expect that to continue once again tonight. Not too much else you can say there about him going against Charlotte. Should be a pretty good matchup as well. 
Shooting guard, we got Marcus Smart. Kind of talked about him on the DraftKings side already. He's sixty-seven hundred dollars, looking for 33, 34 points out of him, averaging just over thirty on the season. But like I've been saying, you know, higher usage, ball handling role with no Kemba Walker. Then at small forward, get Keldon Johnson, five thousand dollars, looking for twenty-five points out of him. That's just in line with what he's averaging on the season. Been playing a few extra minutes lately. Been playing slightly better, so I think it's definitely a spot that you can't go wrong in today. Definitely could be one that changes throughout the day, though. Then at power four, we got Maxi Kleber. $3,500 looking for 17, 18 points out of him, averaging just over 18 and a half on the season. So, like I said, on DraftKings spot, pretty safe spot. No Kristaps Porzingis could see a couple extra minutes as well. Then last but not least, we got Robert Williams, $5,400, looking for 27 points out of him, averaging 26 on the season. I believe he's back in that starting lineup now. Should be getting more minutes once again. So definitely a good matchup for him. Definitely a price down spot compared to where he was prior to his injury. But if you go with these five players over on FanDuel for today, you have $34,600 left over, $8,650 per player. So definitely a little bit of room to spend up for some guys, spend down for some guys, mix and match, see what works best for you. But with that being said, these are my picks for today, May 2nd, on both FanDuel and DraftKings. As always, I'll be listing all the news, starting lineups, and injury updates down in the comments below. So definitely be sure to check those out throughout the day. And as always, if you guys have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Definitely here to help you guys out the best that I can. And with that being said, if you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. It really helps build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports. That's truly one for you, the viewers, helping you guys with your DFS, whether it's NBA or NFL, helping you guys with your fantasy football teams, talking all the different football news this offseason. NFL Draft just finished up, so I will be going through and grading each team based on their picks and then a total combined score for their team grade as well. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely be sure to check that out. Those videos will be coming out throughout the next week or so. Uh, but with that being said, if you are new or current subscribers yet to do so, also hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Like I've been saying, I post up daily NBA DFS videos like this. Uh, like I said, missed yesterday's, but if there is a time where that's going to happen, I'll try to let you guys know as best as possible ahead of time. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you all do very well at NBA DFS tonight. And as always, if you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Definitely here to help you guys out the best that I can. And last but not least, special little shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Definitely means a lot to me, and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.